What's up guys, Hong Nguyen for OG Fitness. And in this video, I wanna talk about a term that, you know, a term called pressure, uh, pressure testing, right? So now the funny thing is I'm, I'm 41 years old for those of you guys who don't know. Uh, and I've been doing martial arts my whole life. Uh, currently judo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, well more judo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I did that for about six years. Then I transitioned to judo. So brown belt, uh, still competing, still going for my black belt and all that, going for a title, hopefully, if God, God willing, you know. Uh, and uh, I've never heard this term, uh, pressure testing, until recently, until I started uh, YouTube, which was about, uh, about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, you know, but I was on and off. Like, you know, like uh, if you guys were there from the beginning, I wasn't that consistent, and now I am. But... And then I, I, I heard that term because I was watching what other guys were doing on YouTube, you know, other guys who, who have uh, martial arts slash fitness channels and all that. And they talk, especially the, the, not the fitness guys, of course, but more the martial art guys. We're talking about something called pressure testing, right? And uh, to me, okay, I figure, okay, what they mean by that is uh, sparring, right? So when they say that there's no, um, uh, you know, there's not enough pressure testing in, their, in, in certain martial arts or whatnot, and that's why they can't really figure out, like, uh, uh, that's why it, like it doesn't work and blah 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 and so this is a video not to make fun of but I just I just find it funny it's a funny term to me you know because I read this in the comments recently and somebody mentioned uh, something regarding pressure testing and then I'm like oh right pressure testing pressure testing okay guys now I know a lot of you guys are gonna disagree and some of you guys are gonna agree with me but uh you know we'll leave we'll, we'll we'll see what the discussions uh pop up what kind of comments and all that but i'm 41 and dude sparring is sparring this whole pressure testing thing it seems as though it implies some kind of like holding back you know kind of like like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna pretend that i'm gonna attack you like hit your throat in your eyes and and, and kick your nuts and shit and, and try to go at it, but hold on and then see how you rap. But to me, it's it's fake. It's fake. Pressure testing. I don't know, man. Like, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, or um, maybe in, 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 maybe in certain application, it's more uh, relevant, this term, right? But me, when it comes to, like, I don't know, maybe the military pressure testing is, is, uh, is, would make sense more to me, you know, like you're, you're, you're using live ammo, for example, for a training drill, or you're, uh, you know, like, you know, people are getting shot at, things are blowing up, you know, because they're, pr they're, they're pressure testing, right? But I mean, in martial arts, in, in combat sports and stuff like that, pre pressure, like, pr pressure testing, just, just fight. And if you're, if you're, if your art doesn't allow for sparring, like real sparring, where like, you know, you can go at 100% um, if you want, you know, without, uh, without, of course, like hurting the other person, right? I mean, in essence, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's all, it's an illusion, man. It's fake. It's fake. It's all in your head. You thinking you're all intense and, and, and you know, you're pressure testing and oh, yeah, the intensity and yeah. Not the same, man. Not the same. When you, when you get cracked in the face, dude, it's a different feeling. When you see the guy come in like that and you have to defend against it and you're going after him and then there's an exchange and stuff like that, then, then that's, uh, that's called, to me, sparring. And sparring is where it's, where it's at. Bruce Lee called it the acid test of, uh, of, of knowing if your, your technique or your way of doing things work or not, right? Like if, it's, if it doesn't work, well, you're gonna, you're gonna find out pretty quickly. Or at least if uh, uh, it doesn't work the way you're setting it up or, you know, whatever. I mean, uh, that's how you do it, you know? So this pressure testing thing sounds to me like a pussy way of, of going about martial arts and trying to learn stuff. Like, oh, we got a pressure test. No, man, there is no pressure. To Dude, fight. You got to spar. You got to spar. That's it. End of story. Sparring, sparring. If there is no sparring in what you're doing, then you can't fight. I'm sorry to say, but you can't. You might think you can fight or you might. You might know a couple of moves and, and and you might know how to kind of fight you know but not really so there has to be some kind of sparring involved so i i actually don't like that term like uh, when, when the more i think about it pressure testing it's not it sounds like 
man, it's a little bit too academic, you know? Just just spar, man. And if you haven't gone through any kind of real sparring, then 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 realize that uh, a lot of the stuff that you're you're doing might you might not be able to. Chances are, very good chances, you know, that you you, you won't be able to apply it, right? I'm not saying that if, but but I, I am aware that there's a lot of guys who train traditional martial arts, and then after that they 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 do boxing and they do wrestling and they do all kinds of other stuff where there is actual um, uh, sparring, right? So they of course have a much better feel of what would work, what wouldn't work, you know, and stuff like that, and you know you don't have to practice something a martial art just because, uh, like just because like it doesn't always have to be about fighting and practicality you could you could just enjoy the art for what it is you know and uh like you just like the movements and stuff like that the culture behind it the discipline the mindset and everything and that's a good thing too you know it's not it's not just about like uh being able to beat the shit out of somebody right mm. but um I, I think that you shouldn't be delusional regarding that right so like if that's all you do well you have to re recognize that if you're not sparring then you don't really know how to fight yet, you know, um, and that's it, man. So that's my little, my little uh, uh, two cents rant, so to speak, on, on pressure testing. The term pressure testing, I, I find it funny. It's kind, of, it sounds fake to me. It sounds like, like you know, it's like 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 uh, like martial artists who who don't who can't really uh, fight use that term to sound more academic and and smarter and and you know blah 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 blah, but pressure testing nah. anyways all right guys so like the video if you liked it comment down below let me know what you think and uh did you guys have you guys like the guys who are my age you know like you guys heard that growing up pressure testing because I, I i only heard it like about uh, like when i started this this whole youtube thing you know like uh watching videos and shit like that and these guys are talking about pressure testing i'm like what do you mean pressure testing anyways so let me know down below what you think do you agree do you disagree and uh, yeah, man, so like the video down below and follow me on, all the links are below, so follow me on IG, on Facebook, so we can communicate easier, faster, and exchange videos and shit like that. Uh, because, you know, on YouTube, it's very one way. And of course, if you guys are interested, well, I do train people for a living, so if you guys have weight to lose and all that, then, uh, uh, you know, you should, well, lose it, right? Okay, guys, peace.